I'm going to um, brush it off a little bit. And I use this, this is an old Static Master, but you can use a makeup brush or anything that's, that's clean you can use. There's three ways to hold the plate. This is called a waiter tray. This is called a cantilever. And this is some call it the crab or the pinch claw method. These small plates I like to hold it like this. Um, you need two bottles when you're pouring, flowing the plate. You need the collodion and you need a drain bottle. This is probably one of the most important steps in the process um, because you want a good even emulsion. So hold, hold the bottle down low and pour a really, really fair amount of collodion onto the plate. Pull it up to this corner first and, and don't get in a hurry. Just, just let it flow naturally. Go down to that corner. Come over to this corner and then come down to this corner and, and then slowly let it drain off into your drain bottle like this. And as you do that, you, you'll crawl your fingers up the side like that and just rock it a little bit. What the rocking does is it allows uh, the collodion, it, it prevents rather, prevents the collodion from building up ridges as it, as it kind of sets up and dries. So. And you're going to reconstitute that later. You're yes, I'm, and you do that with ether and alcohol. And the re reason you pour it in a drain bottle is because the, the solvents are draining off of this big time right now. And when you can pinch the corner of that, your collodion is set up and it's ready to go.